Hello, uh, Fun Facts Friday, and uh, today we have David Hodges, of course, but we also have Dr. Mark Ross, and we've asked him as the uh, fount Recently font. Recently asked him. Uh, just two minutes ago, we <laughs> asked him, uh, what's the story behind uh, this um, baptismal font? First of all, what does this stand for, IHS? Well, uh, some people would say in English it's in his service, but that's the more recent interpretation. If you go back to Greek, Yoda, Eta, <coughs> Sigma would be the, uh, uh, the uh, first three letters of Jesus' name. Uh, Constantine said he saw a vision to conquer in the name of the cross, uh, and IHS in Latin became in hoc sigma in this sign. Uh, so it has, had a, it has had a variety of interpretations, but it's really the name of Jesus in shortened form. I like in his service. You like in his service? Yeah. Well, it's got to mean something today. Yeah. So tell us the story about uh, this font. How long has it been in the church? Oh, that, that we have on the back, and it is with the, oh, we can't see it here. Uh, if, can we can, if we can, if we can zoom in. No, no, well, let's do this. There you go. Read it. Read it. I still can't read it. <laughs> uh, presented by Mr. and Mrs. H. T. Davis. Davis, 1943. 1943. So during the Second World War. I didn't know that was back there. Yes. Sometimes it's not back here. Sometimes it is out here. <laughs> because uh, it gets moved around, and some people tend to think the plaque belongs out front, but it's actually not. We get the uh, Christian symbols across the room and the name of Jesus. Uh, so, do you know? Like do you know who they were? I do not know. It was before my time. Uh, had we <laughs> had we planned this, I could have done a little research on. There's the, another the fun baby. fact yet to go. Well, yeah, we can have a follow up on this. But what I wanted to talk about was the eight sides to the baptismal font. In the early church, baptistries uh, could, could be of one of several shapes, but one that became especially prominent was the eight-sided baptismal font in signification of the eighth day. The eighth day, what was that? Well, the uh, Old Covenant people met on a seven-day cycle, and they met on the last day of the week, which was the Sabbath. But with the Resurrection of Jesus Christ, the first day of the week, became the day in which people gathered together. In fact, the early church fathers believed that the eighth day had been prophesied in the Old Testament, that this would be uh, a fulfillment. Uh, now, not every biblical scholar would agree with their exegesis on this, but they believed it came out of the 118th Psalm, which said the stone which the builders rejected has become the chief of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. And we all know the next verse. We just usually don't know it comes from the 118th Psalm. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. They believed, as the New Testament makes that Jesus was the rock. He was the stone that the builders rejected. It was in his resurrection that he became the chief of the corner. And this is the day that the Lord has made. Now, I think the biblical uh, psalmist was saying that uh, this is the new age. This is the day uh, of the Lord in which we have entered in and so on. But the Sabbath marks that day. Uh, but they thought of it as an eighth day. And if you remember, under the old covenant, uh, males were circumcised on the eighth day. That was when they moved from being unclean to being clean. The Jews were circumcised to show their separation unto God, so they had moved from being unclean in their sin to being cleansed by the Lord through his atonement, and they entered into a relationship with him. And so the eighth day was the day in which we moved from being unclean to clean, and our baptistries signify the cleansing of sin. Question, uh, are all baptismal fonts eight sides? No, no. No, as I said, in the early church, there could be one of several designs. This one became very common and influential, and it has lasted to this day. So our church chose an eight-sided. It did, font, indeed. But other churches, maybe in Columbia, don't. That's right. Yep. You could find them six-sided. 
Uh, what does Sitsider mean? Uh, that I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes. you, Dr. Ross. Um, we'll be back next week with another Fun Facts Friday. Have a wonderful day. We hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, and you want to make sure you get all of our content, not just videos, but podcasts and ministry updates, make sure you download our app. If you think you might have missed a video, click on our YouTube channel. A link should be down below. There you can see all of our videos. And if you want to make sure you don't miss anything in the future, hit subscribe. If you want to be one of the first ones to know when we release a video, hit that little bell icon. And if this video has blessed you and you can think of someone else that it might help, use that share icon and send it to them. All, of course, for the edification of God's people and the glory of his name. Until next time, God bless.